What's up, guys? Ken Mar95 here, bringing you another episode. In today's episode, guys, we have another market analysis update. Since it does seem like things are starting to change a little bit, but really quick though, guys, before we do that, let's go ahead and run through the market. Market cap sitting at 329 billion. Uh, today's volume 19 billion. Wait, did I say million? 329 billion. Today's volume 19 billion. Bitcoin dominance sitting at 44.2. Bitcoin up almost 15 and a half percent, sitting at 8,600. Ethereum up 17%, Ripple up 23 almost, Bitcoin Cash up 14, Litecoin up 15, Cardano up 38, Neo up 33, Lumens up 37, big winners today guys, GX Chain up 66, Dragon Chain up 54, Status 42, Redcoin 42, KuCoin Shares 44, big losers, Minex, Binance, 10X Coin. Really quick though guys, let's go ahead and head over to the GDAX order book here, as you guys can tell. The buys are definitely starting to stack in. They're definitely outweighing the, the selling. So we could be seeing a, a nice shift in price here. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and uh, head over to the charts. Looks like we have our potential double bottom here, guys. Bottom one, bottom two. But we could be seeing a triple bottom, bottom one, bottom two, bottom three. But right now, I'm just looking at this double bottom. This would be bottom one. This would be bottom two. Did see a little bit of indecision here uh, last night or yesterday. We had it drop all the way down to about 7,300 and then, you know, a hard push towards the upside. So expecting this candle to close green, I'm not going to add until we get a break and close above 9,400 just to play it safe. However, um, <clears throat> last time we were at the price of about 8,700, we did kind of have a pretty hard break towards the upside. So once we do clear, or, you know, once we break and close 8,500 here on the daily, Definitely expecting it to do the same thing here. Maybe consolidate for a little bit and then push towards 11,000. However, this time I believe we'll blow past 11,000. Remember guys, this is just my personal opinion, not a financial advisor. Let's go ahead and take a look at the four hour really quick, see what the four hour is showing us. Yeah, four hour looks pretty bare, or bullish, sorry. If you're looking for an aggressive ad, I'd wait for, yeah, wait till we break and close above 8,600, then you can add to your position, but um, you know, I'm playing it safe guys, you know, just because I'm not trying to get wrecked here. I'm waiting for that break and close above 9,700 and then I'll be adding to my position. Let's go ahead and look at Ethereum here. Ethereum came as low as about 450 all the way down to our breakout zone and then retrace. Uh, we could still be seeing a little bit of a bearish or a push towards the downside on Ethereum. I'd wait for that break and close above 590. Once we get that break and close above 590, Ethereum should be good to go. But Ethereum could also come back down and push down to about 400 and giving us a nice little reversal signal down here. Let's go ahead and look at Litecoin here. Litecoin had a huge push towards the downside. Actually, let me remove all this really quick. My charts are a mess. We came all the way down to about 138, which was this nice little double bottom here. And then huge push towards the upside. I'm not looking to add to my Litecoin on an aggressive position until we break and close above 160 on aggressive. And then if I'm playing it safe, I'm waiting for that break and close above 200. But remember, guys, this is just my personal opinion. I'm not a financial advisor. But that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. Don't forget to re-steam, upvote, comment down below what kind of coins you guys are trying to see. YouTubers, jump over to Steam it. You guys are missing out. Exclusive content, plus you get rewarded for what you're already doing. But if you're going to stay on YouTube, make sure you guys are subscribed. Turn on post notifications and you give this video a thumbs up. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching. Take it easy. Peace.